everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to explain to you guys the difference between a PNG, a portable network graphic, and a JPEG image. Um, JPEG, sometimes abbreviated down to .jpeg, or just JPG, just three uh, letters. Um, and I believe that's named after the people who created it, the Joint Photographic Experts Group. Now, these are two very uh, common types of images that you will see as you go about your day on the internet, receiving emails with attachments, um, and all that sort of stuff. Now, a .jpg image almost always has a lower file size than a .png. And one of the main reasons for that is that a PNG, the Portable Network Graphics, have an extra layer, and that's the transparency layer, sometimes also called uh, an alpha channel or an alpha layer. And what uh, having that transparency allows is that all of the pixels in a PNG image can be anywhere from zero to 100% visible. So with a PNG, because parts of the image can be vis uh, invisible or partially visible, you can effectively take an image, which is always going to be a square, and make it so that parts of that image are completely cut out. So for instance, if you just took, uh, let's say a random image like a cat, and you cut out all the background, um, it wouldn't be possible to completely hide it on a .jpg image. At best, you could make the background white. But with a PNG, uh, 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 yeah, PNG image, uh, you can take that those those background elements and just remove them completely. Uh, one of the advantages of doing this is that if you have it show up somewhere, that image, uh, such as a web page, that although the entire image is being shown over a area on your web page, and that image is technically a square containing all kinds of pixel data, um, that because part of that image is totally transparent, it will look like it's the shape of a cat uh, and that there's no background or anything like that. Uh, but really it's a, a completely transparent image or at least part of that image is completely transparent. Um, whereas that's just not possible on a .jpg image. A .jpg image will always be a rectangle shape um, that, based on the width and height settings you set up for it. Uh, you can make the background areas white, you can make it black, but you cannot make it transparent. Um, now, once again, uh, having that ability to make it transparent does make the file size of a PNG uh, larger. So generally, you should only use a PNG if uh, either you don't care about the file size or you specifically need that transparency. Otherwise, the .jpg is just going to be more efficient. Uh, but that's the main difference between .jpg and .png. Um, I'm sure most of you have already seen those images all over the place, the two of the most common uh, graphic formats, and hopefully that clears the difference up for you guys. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my future video.